Max, over here. Luna, over here. Good girl. No, we're going that way, Daisy. Hi, Rex. Hi, Luna. Come on, guys. Come. I was trying to get them to come back so that I can video them going up this kind of cool uh, uh, Rudy Cliff here. Okay, come on, guys. Let's go. Good job. Good job. Good girl, Daisy. Good job. Good boy, Jasper. Come on, boy. Good job, Jasper. Yeah. Good boy. There we go. Everybody's in the frame now. Good job, guys. Yeah, some uh, really nice terrain. <laughs> the trail that I'm on. Interesting and challenging. Good boy, Jazzy. Good boy, Chewy. Hear Chewy in the bushes there somewhere. Crashing through branches. Chewy, we're over here, buddy. Chewy's like, I'm trying to get to you, but it's kind of thick here. Chewy, where are you? Chewy, come, we're over here, bud. Good boy, Rex. Good. Good boy, Chewy. And you know what is super funny? Okay, maybe I shouldn't say this out loud because it's probably going to jinx it, but like this park seems to be spur free. Um, so it's probably a great park for Chewy, who uh, is a spur collector. Yeah, he. Um, his fur loves collecting spurs. Um, and then when we brush him out, part of his hair goes with it. So he's been getting a trim practically every time he collects spurs. Um, I should probably, I'm thinking, you know, he's been getting like groomed basically. Um, and every now and then, so his owner usually takes the spurs out, but every now and then I'll, I'll do it. So I'm thinking like he's getting a trim, you know, in the, in the meantime, kind of during the process. So I really should be charging her for daycare and a groom. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell her that next time I see her. Good job, guys. Good girl, Daisy. Good girl, Luna. Careful, Luna. Um, watch so you know now that I've said it out loud I've probably jinxed it and um, Chewy will probably come back out of some bush full of spurs but yeah like so far we've been about two hours now and um, zero spurs on him he's changed colors a couple of times which is kind of funny um, and then you know every time he and he either <laughs> enters the river or gets dried off through the bushes um, it rubs off so so he's he's like gone from clean dirty clean dirty clean dirty quite a few times he's like a self-cleaning dog good girl daisy daisy's like me we're kind of huffing and puffing as we hike along and we're enjoying our hike we're just huffing and puffing because we're probably carrying a bit more weight than we should. <laughs> we're not as lean as Luna and um, and Chewy and Rex here. Like they're super lean. Daisy's kind of like me. You know, we know we live in Edmonton, and so it gets quite cold in the winter. And you know, we we like to be a little insulated. Right, Daisy? Yeah, come winter, we're so ready. We're so ready to take on the cold weather and these guys will just be freezing their butts off without, uh, without insulation. All right, guys. Just wait for everybody. Good job, good boy. 
<laughs> Where's Luna? Where's your buddy Luna? There's Luna, good girl. She comes charging in. And where is Chewy? Where's Chewy? There's Chewy. Good boy, buddy. You look a little worn. You look tired. Oh, look at all their tongues sticking out. They're getting tired. Hey? Hey, Daisy, what are you thinking? Yeah. They're energetic, but they're getting tired too. Good girl, Luna. Good girl. All right, see, we're heading this way, and I saw Chewy head the other way last time, so. Joey, are you coming our way? He's like, yep, I am now. Thanks for calling me. Good boy, Rex. Aw, Rex, you're so awesome. Rex checks back quite a bit. Which is like, yeah, it's, I don't think it was me who taught him that. I think he just either was taught by his owner or it's just he's naturally, you know, like that. Um, not wanting to lose his human. <laughs> Good girl, Luna. Good boy, Chewy. Good boy, Rex.